Anyway, um, with that, I'm going to hand over to James Sterling, who's the provost of uh, uh, Imperial College, who's going to just say a few words uh, by way of uh, opening, and then you'll hear from me for a few minutes before we get proceedings underway. So, James. Okay, thank you very much, um, James. And I'd like to add my words of welcome to you all, a very warm welcome to what is the second annual Imperial College Business School Conference this year on mobilising business, acting on future health. It's great to see so many people here today on what we're told is the warmest day of the year so far. Ah, well, <laughs> OK. Um, OK, now, James will uh, say a few words in a moment about uh, the context and the purpose of the meeting. Um, but it's clear that what you're talking about and listening to today is indeed one of the most serious and urgent societal challenges, effective and affordable health care for all. And to say that this is timely is a, is a massive understatement. Here in the UK, the future of the NHS is in the newspapers every day. In the US, <coughs> health care has become a political football. And meanwhile, meanwhile, the provision of uh, affordable health care in the developing world is reaching crisis point. And all this against a backdrop of other um, great global challenges such as climate change and antimicrobial uh, resistance. Now, Imperial College's strategy says very directly and very explicitly that we will uh, focus our research and education mission on these great um, global challenges. And we will do this. We will do this by multidisciplinary work that builds on our very strong disciplinary foundations in science, uh, engineering, medicine, and business. Indeed, the ability to work seamlessly across academic disciplines is, I think, one of the key strengths of uh, Imperial College. Um, our strategy also makes clear that we cannot uh, solve these um, big problems alone, that we do need to work with partners, be that partners uh, in other universities, partners in business and industry or other public sector organisations. But only by working with partners will we... Uh, succeed in our mission. And I'm delighted, therefore, to see so many, so many organizations represented uh, here today. Some of you, of course, are already very valued partners of Imperial, but I hope that uh, from your conversations and discussions today, new partnerships uh, will emerge. Imperial is very much open for business. I just want to finish with a few words about our, our, our host, the Imperial College Business School. It's a relatively new business school. It spun out of the, the Faculty of Engineering not so many years ago. But in those few short years of its existence, it has become one of the world's uh, very best. Because it offers a unique proposition, I think. It's um, arguably located in the world's most international city. And it is part of uh, one of the world's leading universities. So it is able to work in harness with some of the world's best engineers, medics and scientists, and I say that gives it a unique position amongst business schools. It has also benefited, benefited from <coughs> excellent leadership in recent years, and I would like to take this opportunity um, to thank Professor Nelson Phillips, Professor Nelson <coughs> Phillips, for the outstanding work he has done as acting dean uh, in the past year. He has taken, in that short time, he has taken the school forward and has done much to build, to further strengthen the links between the business school uh, and the other parts of the college. So thank you, Nelson. Um, this summer, Nelson will hand over the leadership of the business school to our new dean, uh, Pro Professor Francisco Veloso, who's currently the dean at the Catolica Lisbon School of Business and Economics in Portugal. And the school will embark on an exciting new chapter in its development, and I hope that you all will be part of that. So it just remains for me to wish you uh, an interesting, productive, and enjoyable day. I'd like to, to thank the conference co-chairs, Laura Dupre, Laura, and uh, James Barlow for their excellent organization work. And thank you, thanks to all of you for attending. Thank you.